Okay, so first of all, you got your paraffin block and it contains your tissue. Okay, labeled very well with your name, with your tissue. Okay, depending on the setup that you are working in. Now, before that, you need to put your paraffin block on ice plate for maybe just one to two minutes to get it solidified. This will make your cutting much better and easier. Remember here it might be a little bit warm in the room. So working with warm paraffin won't be a good experience for your block, for you, and also for your tissues. You won't be able to get good sections. So this was placed on a cold blade. I will just remove this one that we used for, um, uh, uh, for just demonstration. I will use this one. Now before I do anything here, what I need to check before I place this one, the one knife is covered. What also I need to check? The yes, the wheel is locked. You don't place it with the wheel is on because while I'm working on it, it might just go and squeeze my fingers around. So make sure that the wheel is locked. Then I can place the block. Now the block is there, is placed. The next thing, I can place the knife so that I will start doing the orientation. Now these knives, they come with a container that contains the knives. So please, you don't use them. You ask um, uh, the lab instructor to do them for you. Um, you release the knife. You get the knife carefully. Okay, and once you finish with the knife, there is disposal container here. You can place the disposable knives here in the container. You don't throw them into the bin. Very important thing. Then, with the knife, just I can place it in its location here. Once I place the knife, please make sure you don't use metal things touching the edge of the knife. This will make marks. Some people, they might use metal things. Please don't use them with the knife. Don't use these things with the knife edge. What you need to use is just, if you want to adjust the side, I would use just something wooden. And I won't also touch the edge of the knife. This will cause marks to happen. I just, okay. Now, this is now in its place. I need to cover the knife. Now I need to bring my tissue to the nearest area next to the knife. Remember, you need to bring the face of the cutting to be full face cutting from the knife. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to orient my block to be cut full surface from the knife edge. Okay? What I will do, I release the lock. Then just with the coarse wheel, I got two methods. Either I move the coarse wheel to bring the block to forward, or maybe I move the knife just to be a little bit, few millimeters away from the block. Now, make sure all the time everything is tight. Still, it's its way from the knife. I bring it more to forward. So carefully. Now we need to be careful at this stage. Why is it? Because you don't want also to um, ruin your block. So just carefully. I might use the trimming and just do a little bit of movement. Now here, it started to cut from where? From the lower edge, the lower left side of the block. Means that it's not oriented. It's like this, one side is more forward than the other side. So I need now to do the orientation. How I do it? First of all, I just, I would remove this extra paraffin. 
cover the knife and I lock this one. So I bring it back also a little bit. Remember, you need to save on your lock also. So with this one, I bring it back. I go next to the knife. Okay. Now I release this one so that I can move these ones. Now I can adjust right, left and up and down. The way it will show the, um, the block in alignment with the knife. Parallel lines. Just, yeah, just, just, I, I will get you to see here just once I did it. Okay? So, to the nearest thing. Okay? So, let's pause it. So, now, um, here it's aligned. Okay, so it's not touching now, still not touching. I don't take any sections. Now, what's the thing that I forgot to do here? Retraction? No, retraction already set. Uh huh, I need to lock this one. Remember, you need to cut all the time while the knife is fixed and the block is fixed. Don't forget this function. This one need to be locked and this one need to be locked as well. Then I move it slowly. I need to start advancing maybe with the trimming function while pressing on this one. Okay. Now I started to take some sections. Now it's taking a little bit from the side, but with maybe very few sections, it will start to take from the full surface of the block. Okay. How can I tell it's taking from the full surface? When you look at the block, When you look at the block surface, you will see how it's become very smooth, like, like the mirror surface, okay? So this means that all the surface being cut from. Also, what if you look at the surface of the block and you see um, lines going like this? What does this mean? Lines. Hmm? Maybe it's not cut it, cutting properly. What's the problem with the cutting? Um, it's yes, the knife contains what? Uh, not sharp. Not sharp. Uh, marks. Uh, marks. Uh, marks. Uh, marks. Uh, marks. Uh, knife. Uh, okay. Uh, so these marks, they might be appearing as a lines on the surface of the block. Uh, so also you can tell whether it's really good knife or not from this initial look at your block. Okay, I will also allow you to come and look at the block, how it's now appearing very mirror face. So, the cutting surface going all well and I'm cutting from the full surface of the block. Okay, so I need now to start to generate some sections. I need to make sure also that I'm taking from the full surface of the tissue. You don't want to take section that contains maybe half of the tissue and the other half is not there. This is really not good sectioning. Okay? You also, you can control the speed of cutting. So I need just to get the first few sections away so that Okay, so I won't use these ones, just I want to go into the full surface. Until you are happy that you get into the full surface, now you can start thinking about getting these sections. How can I get the section into a slide? 
Okay. Remember, this is a wax. Okay. So, with this wax, what I can do is I need to use slide. So, these are slides here where you can use them to um, load the sections on the slide. Can it happen directly? No, it can't. This is not cryostat. We'll talk about the cryostat later. But you need to get your paraffin that contains the section to float over a water bath. Now, floating over the water bath will allow the paraffin to spread and your section to spread so you can just load it on a section. Let me show you this one. Again, you need to use, don't use metal next to the knife edge. I'm happy about these sections and I want them. So what I need to do is just, I transfer them with the edge of the brush. It's all about just skills you need to build up and just on the top of the water bath. And they will just spread with the temperature. I will do it again. These are another sections. I go just at the edge where the section is just attached to the knife and then just I take it off it's very light and then just to the surface of water bath so and this this was a bit long but let's say that these sections now you need maybe one of these sections let me cover this one and this is locked so on the water bath, after maybe just one minute, your sections they will spread. Now, let's say on this one, I need only this section. I don't want this one or this one. How can I separate them from each other? This one, for example, I don't want this part. What I will do? So what you need to use, you need to use a tweezer and make sure the edge of the tweezers are clean. They don't contain any dirt or any paraffin. How can I clean them? What's the best thing to clean the paraffin here? Xylene. Okay. So, xylene. Some drops here and just I would clean the edges of the tweezer. I don't want any paraffin traces, otherwise they will stick to the tissues, they will take the tissue with them and they will um, ruin it, okay? Now, at that line between two sections, what I can do just, I do like separation with the tweezer, like this. Now I separate one section alone, one more time. The trick is having clean edges of the tweezer. Okay? So, here we go. Now, there is single sections there. Can do this one. Can do this one as well. Now, I need to load those sections into a slide. So, slide. And just I go next to the section down. And then to the edge of the section. And here we go. Okay, the section is loaded into the slide. Wada? And you can see the tissue as well. Can you load another section on the, on the same slide, depending on the cover steps? If you have the white cover steps or not, I can do, مثلاً, one more section next to it. You can align them in a good way, depending on your needs. Now, this one a little bit wet. صح? So what I need to do is, either I leave it to dry at the edge of this water bath, it's also heated, okay? Or 
I use a slide um, heater where it can be also dried. Wadah? Is it clear? So both things can be doable. So this is all about getting the sections and doing the cutting. It's more to be technical. So all what you need is to practice. It's all about practicing. So um, it's all yours. And thank you.